Tonight on the Gospel Brolition, we learned that guns don't kill people. Alec Baldwin kills people. <laughs> oh, too soon? <laughs> too soon. Deep from a bunker in a top secret location. We're working on that all week. Secret location. In southern Indiana wow. comes a gathering of the Gospel Bro Alition. If it's religion, politics, cars, guns, cigars, and anything else flammable, we're talking about it. Four men by manlier men. <laughs> Get it? Got it? Good. This is the Gospel Bro Alition. And here are your hosts, Pastor Lee, J.R. Robinson. And the Hoosier Hillbilly, Mike Paul. Well, we're a week behind because JR messed up last week. Good job, JR. Usually infallible JR messed up last week. My stuff doesn't normally mess My up. My wife said, JR broke. And I said, Yeah, JR broke. <laughs> she said, JR never breaks. He said, sure. It broke. The camera didn't work. So we're going to talk about stuff that was really interesting last week. a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. But first off, we want to talk about uh, congratulations, Virginia, because you're not whoop, going whoop. to become California. <laughs> <laughs> Just elected a Republican governor. Well, yep. Republicans did well across the board. They did. They did. Said uh, it was a red slide or something like that. Yeah. Has it, as of this moment, has the New Jersey race been decided? Not. I don't know. I, I don't. Last I, I checked, it was recount. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because even if it's even if the Republicans lose and they had to recount because it was so close in New Jersey. Yeah. Yeah. That's saying something. Well, what happened was uh, I think it's Bergen County, which is the largest county in New Jersey. Reported 100% everybody in, all the precincts in, and the Republican had won. And then, like at 1.34 a.m., it was all of a sudden they changed to 87% in. And the lead in the statewide went from 42,000 to 3,600. Mm. That sounds awfully familiar. That like, happened, yeah. like that that happened, happened a year ago. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they just kind of sit around to see how many votes they need, and then they go pull out the, brief, the briefcases yeah, like, and the okay, you know, we got suitcases enough? Yeah, full we got of ballots. Enough. Yeah. And, so, but the Republicans did well, which is just a, um, uh, I think, an indictment of the Biden administration. <laughs> oh, you know. uh, so I'm Pastor Lee, joined as always on my right by the guy with two first names, Mike Paul, J.R. Robinson, super Christian, super gamer, super tuner now, and let's go Cameron, our producer. <laughs> Not not to be confused with let's go. Let's go Brandon. Brandon. By the way, the White House comes out and says we have. We don't know what you guys are talking about. This okay, is Brandon. Brandon. Yeah. You know, it doesn't surprise me though at the intelligence level, <laughs> which they are. You know, I mean, yes, yes it's. I, I actually, I, th I don't think they're lying this time. <laughs> right, I think huh? they're so out of touch with the yeah, American they people. Have no idea what they're they have. No are idea. Are you yeah. gonna wear your hat backwards the entire time? Yes, I am actually. All right. It says something on the other side. You're just showing your premature grain. That's all. We're gonna do that. We're gonna go. Bam. Bam. We're gonna show it all at once here. Get the light on it. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> So I went through my Facebook feed and basically cut out everybody I don't talk to who I don't know. And so I'm, so I'm, I was like, I'm down to 15 friends now on Facebook. <laughs> but um, it's, it's 20% of them are in this room. And Facebook feels sorry for you when you get on there. And it's like you don't have friends all of a sudden because they keep recommending friends for you. It's like, I don't want to. Nope. 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 nope, 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 nope not. I'm interested. No, mm -hmm. I'm still at I'm like 450. So... I, I try wow. to keep mine under 500. That's 400, wow. That's 400 more than you have. Like 70, maybe. And that's like half people that I need to get rid of. Yeah. I just don't want to because they post a lot of hilarious stuff. I see you, Doug. But there are, uh, yeah. <laughs> he's, he, he's like, Douglas, you are weird. I don't even really know you, but you have some awesome stuff you post, so I just can't get rid you, of you. You would fit in so well here. Yes, he would. But he'll get on these tangents where he'll start talking about this stuff, like cheese. And then he'll just post memes about nothing but cheese. Uh, Five hundred memes like stupid, just stupid. But it's, it's just it's awesome. Yeah, he's an idiot. I love him. <laughs> um, but I keep getting this, these articles from this, uh, I guess, web publication called uh, American Spectator, and they had a great. This is for our Irish friends, uh, and the the question was, what are they going to do? Who are they going to blame when everybody's been vaccinated? Mm -hmm. Isn't uh, one of those countries over there just about 100% vaccinated? About, they're 100% vaccinated, almost. Well, I'd say 97% vaccinated and, and are having an outbreak of COVID. Now, now hold on. Now. What state in the United States had the lowest? Florida. That, wow, that's that's amazing. Where they opened everything up and said, oh, run buck wild. Wow, I'm that's surprising. I'm just so surprised by that. Yeah. My utter look of shock. It, it is. It's, it's shocking. They, I, I think the narrative is just falling apart. 
And everybody knows that these guys are hypocrites. They take 400 private jets to a climate change mm-hmm. conference. You didn't, you didn't see the angle they were trying to push today? I, tried to, I forgot to send it to you guys before the show, but uh, CDC now says that the vac- with the vaccine you are less likely to be infected than if you were infected before. So now your natural immunities aren't as good as the vaccine. Oh, they've changed it. That now. was CDC today. Mm. Oh, they change it every week. Yeah, yeah. not surprising. Yeah. I'll I, take my Everybody's chances. getting sick of it. I mean, they really are. Mm-hmm. And I, But it's true. I mean, if we if we get a town that's got 100% vaccination rate and people still get COVID, who are they going to blame? Because right now they're, everybody's blaming the unvaccinated. And I posted on Facebook that I didn't get any hits at all. I thought it was a very astute observation from me. <laughs> I but, must have missed it. Well, no, it's, it, if, if your vaccine, if you take the vaccine and you still get the disease, technically you're not vaccinated. No, mm-hmm. you've got the shot. You've got the shot, but you're not you're not vaccinated. So really, there's no such thing as unvaccinated people because they mm-hmm. can all catch it. Everybody can catch it. So you're everybody's unvaccinated. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Everybody in America right now, vaccinated or unvaccinated, can still catch COVID. So everybody's unvaccinated because a vaccine keeps you from getting the disease. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not anymore. Not anymore. Yeah, we changed the, the version. We're just making this up now. as we go along, yeah. folks. That's yeah. been their excuse from the beginning. Oh, I know. We don't know what this is. We've never had this. We're learning every day. That's been. Their oh, what excuse. was Pfizer's profits? You sent that to me. What was it? Uh, their revenue. The revenue was thirty-six billion for this year. So now wait a minute. That's for the B. <laughs> they the were B. giving away free vaccines, were they not? Yeah. Well, somebody's paying. Who for them. paid for that? I I wonder. Oh wait a minute. Yeah, my wallet felt a little bit lighter. <laughs> Good grief. Yeah, your taxpayers are paying for that through the government. You're welcome. Apparently, you're paying for it at uh, Penn Station now. Good gosh, Almighty. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even get me started on that. And we thought Subway was expensive. So I go to Penn Station. I get a large sub because I'm a large man. But I thought... My, my plan, Very fit, though. Very fit large man. But my plan is I'm going to go in there and I'm going to do half for lunch and half for dinner. Yeah. yeah. All right, I'm going to save money. So I go up there and I get it. And I, so I want a small fry and small drink, you know, because you go back up here. You got a times. small fry and small drink? Small time. She goes, that'd well, be, because Penn Station, they usually fill the bag with fries anyways. Mm-hmm. And she said that'd be $18. <laughs> Did you say, I don't want to? It was the equivalency of saying, hey, let's just get buck naked and run around to the store. <laughs> I was, I looked at her like, <laughs> you, you have you, got to be joking. But you'd already watched her made the sandwich. You paid for it, didn't you? Well, I did because that's this is me. Yeah. I'm a nice guy, but I, I, wow. but I sat there and she was like, she didn't want to hear it, but I was like, do you, do you know where I can eat for eighteen dollars? I can go to Old Charlie's and get a steak and chicken Char- tenders yes. and a salad and all kinds of good Saturday stuff. Saturday night, my wife and I take the truck out that that, that 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 we all redid and went out on a date night, and I went and got steak and chicken tenders for the same freaking price. <laughs> it was, really, yeah. and it was and great. Old Charlie's. Old Charlie's is bomb, by the way. It is. But keep going. Yeah. But thank God I didn't have to tip. It'd been twenty dollars <laughs> for a sub sandwich. For a sub sandwich, for and I tell lunches. you what, when they talk about large, it's like this. What? Yeah, it's nine inches. Yeah. That's not even a foot long from the subway. No, I think Penn Station's nine inches. That's a rip off. Hey, oh, oh my gosh, I would just. Oh my. Oh yeah. I said I'm not coming back. She's like, you can just tell from her expression. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, she's like, we'll get another fool in here, pay eighteen dollars, yeah. so it doesn't matter. But I was the only one in there. Now I can understand why. <laughs> I know. Where they're trying to justify I saw some homeless guy up there at the intersection with a sign that said, we'll work for Penn Station. You know, <laughs> it's, it's like. They're trying to justify that minimum wage hack up. $18 yeah. for a sub, small fry? Well, That's insane. That minimum wage hike up goes up like it's supposed to. Guess what? You're going to be paying it to Mickey D's. Yeah, you remember when everybody said $15 an hour, we couldn't sustain it. Now everybody's mm-hmm. getting $15 an hour. Yep. They no, got it. The price they got it the, the through price. their little vaccine thing, and they got it through the COVID the prices have went up, and the minimum wage has still not, though. Yeah, but if you look, places it's like McDonald's and all this paying are paying 12 to 14. 14 yeah, nobody's to paying minimum wage an hour. Well, now that you're paying that, $18 for a sandwich? Yeah, sure. $18 for a sandwich? <laughs> My gosh. It was the best sandwich in town, probably, though. Sub, oh. Sub-style sandwich, oh, they're no. better than Subway. Oh, don't. don't no, 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 Jimmy no, John's. no, no, no. No. Jimmy John's. I like Jimmy John's, but it's not Free as good fast. as Penn Station. Free fast. Firehouse. Firehouse is the Firehouse. best subs, no doubt. Never been there. Yeah, never Great been there. Stuff. Firehouse is the best subs. But the best, and they're not $18 either, Penn the, Station. The, Suck no, it. The best Philly cheesesteak you can get in the town that we live next to is Penn Station. 
Well, I'm, I'm not going to argue because the Philly steak is not. Good. I'll go sell plasma and then go buy some. <laughs> Because that's uh, that's the only way I can afford it. I I think Mandy and I were on a, a Penn Station kick a few months ago, and I think it was thirty bucks every time we went there. I yeah, just the two of us. Yeah. So I I ate half the sandwich and then the fries, and then and then I brought it home that night and unwrapped it, and it you know the size of a Twinkie <laughs> for dinner. The second half of it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, they cut it right down the middle. It's like it it's it it is. It's a glorified Twinkie, yeah, an Italian it's Twinkie. All the way around it. It's skinny too. Yeah. yeah. And 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 they they couldn't even hit the hit the sandwich hit the bread with the meat so the the, the meat is like fine off of the side here. Some, All right. Something looked like a tomato was on there too. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Who knows what it Who was? Knows? Who knows what it was? I tell you, I have a hard life. <laughs> I'm just not. I'm not doing it anymore. So uh, the Biden administration, for all you people who love him and voted Democrat, they're killing beagles and uh, and what? dogs. Yeah. What? You didn't hear about that? No. I oh, I don't want to describe it, man. People eating dinner right now and stuff. Oh, like, okay. Like, uh, it sounds terrible, puppy killers. Well, let's go ahead and tell you. You, you guys just... <laughs> put your sandwich down. Yeah, put your sandwich down and mute it for... If it was a Penn Station sandwich, you better put when it I safe. this... Because you don't want nobody back, taking oh, that thing. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, I'm sure all the people hurting the dogs, they all work at Penn Station. Uh, <laughs> what they're doing is... Oh, you're talking about the Fauci news. Yeah, the Fauci okay. news. Okay. I still don't know. His, his NIH, whatever that is, stands for. Yeah. Um, it stands for NIH. Ninka poops in hell or something. I don't know what <laughs> it's saying. But so he, they, they're funding this thing where they were, they were going to test this, I guess, vaccine against sand fleas or something like that, which are doing some horrible things. I get it. You know, everybody wants to eat steak, but nobody wants to know how it made. I get it. I understand it. There's some testing that has to take place. But they were taking these beagles. And they were sticking their heads in a tent with all these sand flies. They were making sure the sand flies had not eaten and that they were very hungry. And they were eating these beagles alive. Yeah. And they cut the vocal cords of the dogs so they couldn't hear them barking. And nobody cared, did they? Nobody cared that Fauci's heading that up. Nobody cares about it. They better hope I don't find them. <laughs> yeah. I, I, to support something like this, you got to be a monster. Wow. You can turn it back on now. I mean, seriously, you, you, <laughs> if you hear that from uh, about what Fauci is doing and understand, I don't even want to know some of the horrific things that they have been, have, have done to better mankind. I get it. I understand it. I, mm-hmm. I'm not one of these PETA persons or anything like that, but I, I just, I can't imagine. I know I'm not really an animal lover and I can't imagine. No, you are not. I am not, and I. No. But I can't imagine how cruel you have to be to do something like that. That's, That's just sickening. That is sickening. I mean, you're a sick, sick person, and these people out there just supporting it. Yeah. They don't care. Did not stuff. know that. Yeah. Interesting. Don't look it up. It's. it's I'm not. It's don't worry. Bad. That's going to be one of those. That, no, I read the headline, uh, and that was enough. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So Alec Baldwin killed somebody. Did you know that? <laughs> and then, and then two weeks later, he sends out a Halloween picture of himself with his kids. Oh, yeah, it oh, doesn't bother him a bit. Because he's an idiot. It doesn't bother him a bit. He doesn't care about anybody else's life but his own. Yeah. If you're living in the, under the same rock that Mike is, uh, Alec Baldwin killed somebody, uh, I forgot, a producer or something like that, and killed a person, then wounded somebody else because he actually shot through the person and hit the other person. There's well, so what many is, what Who is points a gun at somebody's chest there's, and pulls the trigger? There's, there's so many questions. I thought about this. I don't do that with a Nerf gun. I thought about this. All right. <coughs> Could it have been that it was a? I, I don't know what movie he's making. It's a movie with a gun, a western, right? But Rust. When they right. when they shoot those down the barrel shots, seemingly they're probably aiming at a cameraman, no? Or at least aiming at a camera. More than likely, yes. Yeah, but, but I think I, was, I, I, I've not yeah. I've not kept up with this. Story. He shot the producer, one of them. Yeah, I've not it, kept up with the story. But so, wouldn't it be the prop professionals? Responsibility. I mean, they loaded a live yes. round. In the oh, yeah. Yes, I'm not going to deny that. Um, I wonder why there was live ammo on the set. Yeah, well, some some movies want live ammo. You got to make bullet I'm holes. I'm pretty sure if I, what I read, they said there was no live ammo to be on set, hmm. and somehow live ammo. Made. Now, once again, if you're a prop technician, okay, that means I assume you have some knowledge of what a prop looks like. Okay. Yeah, I got. When it. you have a blank, and you have the actual loaded shell casing with a bullet, 
there's a, there's a difference. It, it, <laughs> it's easy to see. One has a bullet in the end of it. One does not. True. One has a primer. You can't tell me it was a mistake. You can't tell me somebody loaded that gun with live rounds and didn't know it. Somebody in there loaded it with a live somebody round. Somebody loaded yeah. it with a live they round. They do load live, no live rounds to, so people can go to a range and shoot a little bit and get used to the gun and stuff like that. Which because I doubt this, Alec Baldwin has ever done. No, He never. hates guns, right? He hates guns. He hates passion. guns. I bet he really does now. And then, but you just don't... Uh, I, but just, she wasn't in the movie, though. She wasn't an actor. No, that's what I'm saying. I, this, I, 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 he was probably goofing around backstage. <laughs> Boom! Oops! Nobody does that. Oh, do we even know that it was during live film? No, I, I don't believe it was during live film. I think he right, just she's not a part of the movie. Goofing around. She's like an executive producer yeah. or something. Or yeah. right, she's behind the camera. She right. was a camera lady. That's what I thought. Maybe it was during a live scene. I, I don't think okay, it was, I don't know, but I don't know. Don't, I don't really know. know. I don't know. He's an idiot, so it doesn't matter. I know, and then like two weeks later, we're going to post Halloween pictures of him he's dressed up as something. Yeah. Was he dressed up as a cowboy? That would have been ironic. <laughs> That's a shooter on his hip. Yeah. Hope it's not loaded. I don't know. He probably dressed as the, what, what, what was the uh, one from Wizard of Oz that has no brain? Tin Man. The Tin Man. The Tin Man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he has man. no heart. Lo- no. Scarecrow. Lo- Scarecrow's Scarecrow. got no brain. Yeah, Scarecrow has no brain. Lion had no courage. Yeah. Okay. I guess he dresses Scarecrow because he has no brain. <laughs> poor Alec Baldwin. Uh, poor Alec Baldwin. I just, that was... That was sarcasm. Sarcasm. He's horrible. Yeah. So, Virginia voted to bring Woo-hoo. in a, a conservative Republican governor last night. Which and is lieutenant governor. <coughs> Wisdom Sears. Nicely done. Thanks. I couldn't remember her Lieutenant, name to save yeah. my life, but good job. But here's the thing. If she would have been a Democrat... You, she would have been plastered all over the news because she's black, right? She's an and she's a woman, right? And she supports the NRA. And, well, now <laughs> because she supports the NRA and she's a Republican, nobody said crap. Okay, here's here's how here's how stupid the media is. Okay, last night was just a more evidence of white supremacy and racism taking place. <laughs> all right, they, they, they elected a white governor, yes, but the lieutenant governor is a black woman from Jamaica. Who served in the Marines, mm-hmm. and the AG that they elected is a Cuban American. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Versatile, right? That's like that's like when they at, at, at the end of their campaign. Uh, it's so funny with they even when they try to do something, they screwed up. They did like a I don't know if you saw it, but they they sent these Democrat op- operatives out to fake like with the tiki torches and the white yes, shirts to fake like yes. they were supporters and rednecks and stuff like that. And so they had all these guys pretend to be white supremacists, and one of them was black. <laughs> <laughs> Dave Chappelle. That's all I remember. Uh, I think Dave Chappelle. The Dave they Chappelle had Dave show. Chappelle out there. He must have been blind. The black Klans member. <laughs> so they had a black Klans member that was out there. He must have been blind. And so that, he identified as something different. Yeah. yeah. So that kind of blew up in their face. And then they had a guy who went to the rally, and he had a denim jacket on, and he had like this, this Confederate flag sewn to the back of the denim jacket with like, you know, four strands, and he conveniently placed himself right in front of all the media and stuff like that. They they are so evil. Uh, so because racism doesn't exist in the spec in the spectrum that they believe it does, or is, is yeah. the intensity. They they don't think it actually. When you have to make up racism, exactly, they have to. It doesn't exist. They every have to put every it out crime. There in front of you. I would think every crime that's been reported, like on. on Campuses or camp I, however you want to say, it. you know, it, it's like they make them up. They're all made up. Mm-hmm. You don't say octopuses; you say o- octopi. Octopi. So we'll be I really have no idea. Campuses, it sounded good, didn't it? Campuses, campuses, campuses or campi? Campus I. It's campuses. 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 We're gonna call it campus I. Campus I. Campus I. That. That's our new word. Mm-hmm. But what every time they do something out there, and it's supposed to be like a, a race crime. It's they, they always it's always made up. And when you're having to make up racism, that means it doesn't exist. Does it exist out there? Yeah, but not. To the degree that they think, they think it is. <laughs> Every time something goes bad, it's just... I haven't heard. I, now, argue oh, me. Oh, uh, PMSNBC. No, I, 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 I ignore most news now, but I, I'm not seeing as much race news lately. Well, you know, because it's the COVID and the global warming thing yeah. now. Yeah. Oh, by the way, oh, just as a... Just a I'm a conspiracy theorist, <laughs> so just as a little, little hint out there. They say a 747... Hold sixty thousand gallons of fuel and we'll burn that in a trip across seas. Look, okay. look at the size of the container for sixty thousand gallons of fuel mm-hmm. and tell me where they put it. 
<laughs> yeah. Because they don't. Sorry. Just conspiracy theory. I throw it out there to you. So another, and then, and then people are like, well, why would they lie to us about how much fuel goes in something? Well, if they can tell you that that thing takes 60,000 gallons of jet fuel, you're just terrible for the environment. Just little stuff that they're adding in here. Once again, prove me wrong. Show me how you yeah. can fit 60,000 gallons of fuel in a 747. And you're going to put 450,000 pounds in the wings of an airplane and expect it to get off the ground? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not that stupid. But anyway. They said 60,000? Yeah. They said 60,000 gallons of fuel, which if you do the math, is about 450,000 pounds. It's a lot of fuel. Mm-hmm. Good gracious. And if you look at the size of the container which 60,000 gallons fits in and then look at the size of the plane, you're going, oh, that's impressive. I didn't know how that worked. But anyway, I just saw that on the little TikTok thing and they're probably trying to ruin my mind. So, so what's the con- conspiracy? The conspiracy is that that's just another way that they're using for the global warming fan, their global warming agenda. This fuel, this plane planes costs, are bad. Yeah, the plane's so bad because it takes all this fuel. It doesn't take that much fuel. We need electric planes, haven't you heard? Yeah, that's probably next. Oh. And we're going to charge them with coal power. I'm powered. not getting on an electric plane. <laughs> yeah. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna charge them with a coal power plane. batteries are low. Yeah, oh, no. batteries are low. First lightning storm, that's it. Yeah, it's yeah, going down. Can you good. imagine doing a mid-flight battery charging? How long that would oh, take? No. <laughs> you, you put solar panels on the wings. You oh, go above the clouds. That's what it's going to be. Duh. It's a, it's what it, we're yeah. going to have wind power and solar power. That's what it's going to be. <laughs> You're going to have to ration your electricity two hours a day. That's all you get. Uh, California goes rolling blackouts. And if we don't like you, you don't get any. Yep. California has its rolling blackouts. So, so, so Biden goes to his climate conference and takes an 85-car motorcade. To tell 85. us how bad global warming is. That's 85 cars. They're all electric? No. <laughs> he took the beast. The limo that's... Oh, yeah. You know, he took I the mean, beast. I'd take that, too. I'd take it everywhere. And they, they had the Air Force One, and then they also had the plane that carries the helicopters, and the helicopters were there, and all this stuff. But you, you're evil! You are, because you set your temperature to 70 in your house. <laughs> They, they, they're they hypocrites. Everybody knows they are. Everybody's tired of global warming. Everybody's tired yep. of COVID. Yep. It's like, shut up. You know, we would never advocate violence here. But once again, I will say, if you feel like that you are a, a detriment to society or the environment, kill yourself. <laughs> I mean, Seriously. you would take less pollution. You, you take pollution away. Yeah. So. Prince Charles, you are so just nutso about all this stuff. Just kill yourself. Save the planet. Kill yourself. Yeah. Oh, we're going to get in trouble for that, aren't we? You probably won't have too many arguments in this room. I'm standing by it. I'm not editing season yeah, two. Nope. It is what it is, boys and girls. If I felt that strongly about something, if I felt if I felt like I was destroying the planet, which they don't feel like they are, that's the problem. No, they, they feel, feel like, like we are. We are. They would gladly the kill every are. one of us. Yeah, you're going to be living on solar yeah. and wind power. They're going to have electricity, folks. Yeah, they're going to kill everyone. They of are. Us they're going to have electricity. Yeah. They're going to have the coal plants up there. And yeah, they're you're gonna go without. They're not gonna go without. Mm-hmm. You're gonna drive electric cars. They're gonna ride around in gasoline engines. Yep, absolutely. Uh, yeah, but Virginia won last night because uh, you know I think the parents are getting tired. Well, the thing number one uh, rule I think the Democrats learned is you do not tick off the Karens of this world. <laughs> He ticked off all the suburban women, off all Dude. the suburban Karens, buddy. That's it. Game you over after that. that. Yeah. yeah, you want them on your side. And when this Garland dude, this Attorney General, starts sending FBI troops, when they're troops, they're not agents, they're mm-hmm. troops, sends them to board meetings because they're going to label parents domestic terrorists. <laughs> when you don't do it with Antifa <laughs> and Black Lives uh, Matter, you ignorant morons, mm-hmm. and they just they and people got mad and people got fed yeah. up about it. I wonder why. They had a meeting the other night. I forgot what I want to say New Jersey, but it may not have been. They had a meeting the other night where the mayor was going to be there, and but it was at it was at a school board meeting or something. He was planning to do something, and, it, and everybody showed up because they wanted to see how this vote. They had eighty state troopers there. Eighty, he called in eighty state troopers to come in. Why? I, I don't know what. Does why he, he, you know? Does he need that much protection? Karen's for? gonna stand up on the chair and start swinging her purse. I don't know what it is. Thousands of Karens, maybe at 80, 80 They had troopers. eighty state troopers. One hundred twenty people showed up. <laughs> wow, that's a good use of government and state and they, uh, they taxpayer arrest, money. They arrested seven or eight people who weren't doing anything. 
Seriously, you can go to any meeting that you want to, and you can raise as much hell as you want to because it's America. Yeah. You can do that. That's Just as long as you don't get violent, reform. you can do that. Yeah. It depends on yep. what kind of meeting you're at. Yeah. But if you come into a meeting and then they say, well, by their rules, it depends. Yeah. But yeah. if you come into a meeting and there's armed guards there standing there saying, if you say something that we don't agree with, we're going to arrest you, then yep. that's Nazism. Yep. yep. That's fascism. 100%. And Tifa supports it 100%, which means you're not anti fascist, you morons. <laughs> Freaking panty waist little chicken legged idiots. Suck it. Uh, suck it. <laughs> um, and on that note, we'll probably close on that. But always remember let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. Yeah, we love it. And nice. uh, we thank you for watching. Be sure to tune in to our next podcast. And uh, we love you guys. Thank you so much. Like and subscribe and share. We'll see you. Peace. He's singing the outro now. Yeah. yeah. Share. <laughs> Charred minds. Like there's no tomorrow. It's so glorious. Cigar wrappers Al Gore, there is no an empty bottle. Al Gore. Mission accomplished. Well, yeah. He hasn't had to do a thing in the last 20 years. He has done nothing. And has made millions of dollars. Except sit around the eggs and millions of dollars. You know, I... A kind of admire that. For men, by men, it's pretty brilliant. If it's religion, politics, I know he went, cars, yeah. guns, cigars, oh, by the way, they got him now. Biden, you know where he's sitting there and he's doing this thing. They've got him holding the steering the wheel. We know we and they've got the cars we'll thing in the background. Soon, and thank you for fast. being a part of the fast. I got it. Let's go, Brandon, in the background while he's doing it. Oh. <laughs>